Cut all your background strips first. They're in increments of two and a half, two and a half, four and a half, six and a half, eight and a half, ten and a half. And then switch to your dark fabrics. This is already the first dark. It's four and a half inches. Just line up your ruler and cut as many first dark as blocks that you are going to make. And then once you're finished with that, just keep on moving. This is the second dark. And this is six and a half inches. Just line it up and keep it all in order. Just look at your ruler and it will tell you what measurement to cut next. It makes it very easy to do. Your block is actually 14 and a half inches in size. Your center comes next, and I already strip sewed my center and my first light. Place out your blocks so you can see how you have the light side and the dark side. It gets very exciting when you start seeing all those colors go together. Start with your center and first light and put it right sides together to your strip. Get your machine all organized. Put your sew straight on your machine and your background strip goes on the bottom right side up. Your first light and center follow next. Cut it with your cutting gizmo and press your seam away from the center. Okay, now we've got two light. We're gonna go to the first dark next. Put that right side up. Put your block right sides together to it. Press that seam away from the center and pedal to the metal. It just follows right in order. You can sit right at your machine. You know there are up to 18 layouts for the king size quilt. Choose any one of them. And that's what the finished block looks like.